Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on over today. I have this little art journal that I finally finished during my hiatus <laughs> and uh, it's nothing special. It's just a little five five by like four and a quarter ish size so pretty small and I don't even know how many pages I think there's probably 30 something I've made this during a time where I was making them so that they could be done in maybe a month so there's probably 32 pages in here uh surfaces to work on okay so does that make sense and it's just a three hole pamphlet stitch made out of junk and I did a little bit of collage gluing with fabrics on the front as well as stitching. I don't trust my sewing machine these days, so I don't do a lot of stitching, although I love the look of the strings flying out everywhere. So, okay, let's get on in here. I finished it. I just wanted to let you know that even though I was gone for a while, I was doing a little something here and there. So I used all kinds of stuff in this little book. Some, some easy pages with just pens and um, paint pens and mark making and just some, some words. Keeping it simple because there was, it was a pretty rough patch for me as far as being creative is concerned. And here the parts are never greater than the sum. And I made this, I have a couple of these from just, it was just an art abstract page that I cut up. Some fun cards and some abstract type of cuttings. And fun colors. rubbing some flowers this was a printable from I think a free website and I just put flowers flowers bring joy just wrote that on the back some puzzle pieces I had a puzzle and there were several pieces missing so I just painted over it and grabbed a few for the book so it says, for good days, stop the technological beast. <laughs> Unfortunately, what we're doing right now is technological. So kind of not practicing what I preach with that, huh? <laughs> All right. I love this. So fun. I love black and white just about anything. Turn to see. Manage the really bad days with little rewards. A while ago, I made some phrase clusters, and uh, I still have some of those left over, so I pulled one out to set on that little card that I've had forever. And uh, this background paper is just a, a wipe that was dried out, a paint that I was using for a wipe during a painting session. So, yeah, just a little, a little bit of paper and glue, and uh, you're a hoot. Some black and white and little tissue paper, uh, tissues packet from the Dollar Tree, I think. I like the color combinations on that. Again, black and white with, as an accent. Same kind of thing there. Just doodling a little bit with markers and pens. Pulled out some of my words and just slapped them on there and added a focal point. The cool dragonfly. It's got the bumpy eyes. And I found this quote I thought I'd put in here. Allowing God to accept me just as I am helps me accept myself in the same way. It's from the book The Gift of Being Yourself by David G. Benner. And aren't we always trying to figure that out? Especially in our artistic journeys. What are we, what's our, what is our our intrinsic values when it comes to our creativity? What brings us joy? A ah, little doodle session there. Another just drawing with some painty background. 
a little mosaic, butterfly doodle, and this is some, some of that Tim Holtz vellum. I invested in it at one point and I just don't use it much. I had great hopes for that, but I just don't find I use it very often. Just a collage of different papers on this page. And this one I think I filmed. <laughs> Little fox. Uh, there, I have a pa stencil pack from the Dollar Tree that had these cute little animals on it. So I just did a few of those on there. Just some pens in the paint. Just some more pen. And I like the green and black. And I found that word. And so I just put it with it. It kind of looks like power emanating from the center going out. It's kind of fun. It's just a little page. Abstract. Just some torn color combinations. The black color. I like that. Kind of reminds me of the Arches National Park. And a fun, just kind of mushed up page. It says private time on here, but I've got an old sticker on some some funky paper and then this cool cutout. Hmm. Again, just some strange things I pulled from my one of my boxes of scraps and put them together. Same here, just made some trees. And this little book, you know, it's taken me a while to finish it, and I honestly didn't expect to, but then I was working on it the other day, and it's like, holy cow, I am almost done with this little thing. So, yeah, it's been a fun little journey, and uh, I've enjoyed it. And I've got several other books similar to this size that I'll, that I will be working in. Um, yeah, so, oh, I hope you enjoyed that. That's it for today, friends. I hope you're having a great day and figuring out what your intrinsic values are. These little books are great for helping you figure that out because you can put whatever you want in it. Good, bad, ugly, <laughs> whatever you want. Abstract, realism, have fun with it. That's the main thing, have fun with it. All right, friends, we'll see you next time. Love you guys, take care, and as always, God bless. Bye-bye.